boys and girls. Today we're going to read Froggy's Baby Sister by Jonathan London. It was illustrated by Frank Remkowitz. Now Jonathan London has written a lot of froggy books and he does a great job of helping the reader read with expression. He changes the way that the words look in the book to help readers understand how to change their voices to sound like they are what the character really sounds like, which is really nice. Jonathan London also does a great job of giving us a character trait with Froggy in most of the books. Sometimes Froggy is messy. Sometimes Froggy is forgetful. Sometimes he is distracted. Sometimes Froggy is determined. Sometimes Froggy is excited. Let's find out Froggy's character trait for this book and also practice reading with expression. Froggy's Baby Sister by Jonathan London. Froggy woke up. Is this the big day? He wondered. He hopped out of bed and flopped to the kitchen. Flop, flop, flop. Good morning, Froggy, said his mother. Wow, Mom, said Froggy, your tummy is huge. Is the baby coming today? Did you notice that I said huge differently? It's italicized. The letters kind of slant a little bit. That's Jonathan London's way of letting us, the reader, know to say the word with a special emphasis. I hope so, she patted her belly and beamed. I want a baby brother, said Froggy. Sisters are great too, said his mom. But Froggy wanted a brother. He daydreamed about him all day. I will teach him how to swim. I will teach him how to play soccer. Froggy, called his father. What? I'm taking mom to the hospital. Max's mother will stay with you. So here's another way that the author, Jonathan London, helps us as readers read with expression. This text looks different than the rest. Obviously, he wants us to call it out loud and he wants us to stretch it out because he put extra letters in there for us to stretch. Same thing with what. What is a four letter word, W-H-A-T. But here he's got all these extra A's in there because he wants us to stretch it out. What? So maybe you can help me in the rest of the book when the author does this. I would love that. And off they zoomed in a taxi cab. Froggy felt like he'd been swallowed. Oh, I'm sorry, I, I said that wrong. Froggy felt like he'd swallowed dragonflies for lunch. Max's mother tried to read to him, but Froggy couldn't sit still. She tried to play catch with him, but he kept falling flat on his face. Oof, when will the baby come, he wondered. So another thing that Jonathan London uses a lot of are these three periods at the end. It's not the end of a sentence. These three periods mean that we should wait sort of trail off our voice and pause and wait. Let me show you. She tried to play catch with him, but he kept falling flat on his face. Oof. Jonathan London also gives us these sound words to help us make it so it sounds like it's really happening. Finally, he dozed off under the kitchen table. Help me out. Froggy, called his father. What? Come see the baby. Froggy jumped up and hit his head on the table. Bonk. Then flopped to the baby's room. Flop, flop, flop. It's a girl, said Froggy's dad. A girl, cried Froggy. Yuck. Her name is Polly Walgalina, said mom. But you can call her Polly for short. Wah! cried Polly. Maybe she's hungry, said Froggy. Let's make her some burgers and flies. Soon Polly was sitting on Mommy's lap, sucking on a bottle of cream of fly mush. Slurp, slurp, slurp. Let me feed her, said Froggy. I can take care of her all by myself. Not yet, said Froggy's mom. When her legs are all grown in and she loses her tail, then you can take care of her. So here I can see that this one and this one 
both of those words are italicized. They're slanted just a little bit. And that meant that I got to use my special emphasis, my special reader's voice there, to make sure that I said it with expression. Spring ended, summer came. Froggy wanted to teach Polly how to bounce on a pogo stick. Boing, 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 but Polly was too little. He wanted to teach her how to jump off a swing, but Polly was too little. You can't do anything, he said, and he flew off to the swing. Oh wait, this one's italicized too. I better reread it with better expression in my voice. He wanted to teach her how to jump off a swing, but Polly was too little. You can't do anything, he said, and he flew off the swing and landed in the pond. Splash! One day, Frogalina came to see the baby. She's cute, said Frogalina. Hey, let's play mommy and daddy. No way, cried Froggy, and he flopped away. Flop, flop, flop. Summer was almost over. I'm tired of waiting, said Froggy. Polly's no fun. I'm going over to Max's, and I'm never coming back. Help me out. Froggy, called his mom. What? Wait. Mom unwrapped Polly's blanket. Legs, cried Froggy, and her tail's all gone. Yippee! Now I can take care of her? Yes, said Mom. Here's her diaper bag. As soon as Mom went inside, Polly began to cry. Oh, do you see what Jonathan London did here? It's all stretched out and it's all uppercase. Let's stretch it out and make it loud. Wah! I know, said Froggy, you're hungry. So he sat her down by the pond and said, watch me. And Froggy snagged flea f three flies, zap, zap, zap. Polly flicked her tongue out too and caught her first fly. Zap. That's pretty good, said Froggy, for a girl. Wah! I know, said Froggy, and sniffed her diapers. Sniff, sniff, sniff. Yikes, cried Froggy, holding his nose. Polly Wagalina, you stink. So he laid Polly down on her back and tore off her diaper. Rip. Then Froggy wrestled a new diaper on. Help me out. Froggy, called his mom. What? Time to come in. Froggy flopped inside with Polly. Flop, flop, flop. Guess what, Mom, said Froggy. I taught Polly how to catch flies, and I put her diaper on all by myself. Oh, that part's italicized, too. Let's reread it and use a good reader's expression voice, okay? Here we go. And I put her diaper on all by myself. Froggy lifted Polly up and zoop, off fell her diaper. Oops, cried Froggy, looking more red in the face than green. Now he's embarrassed here. Has he been embarrassed in the rest of the book? No, you're right, he wasn't. But he couldn't wait for the baby to come home. He couldn't wait for the baby to be born. Then he couldn't wait for the baby to get legs. He wanted to take care of her. And he's pretty happy and pretty proud of himself for being able to teach Polly how to catch flies and put her diaper on. How is he feeling in this book? What character trait is he showing? Is he messy? Is he tired? Is he excited? Is he distracted? Is, what do you think? I think he's pretty excited too. That night, Polly wouldn't go to sleep. Wah! She cried and cried. Fwo, 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 froggy, wailed Polly. So Froggy flopped to Polly's cradle, flop, 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 and picked her up. She misses her big brother, said Froggy. Go to sleep, Polly Wagalina. And Polly went to sleep in Froggy's arms. Zzz. A lot of the time, authors use Zs to show us a snoring sound. Can you make that with me? Thank you so much for reading this book with me and helping me read with expression. I hope that you practice reading with expression in all of the books that you read.